everyone, so I'm Haley, and this is my first video on my channel, Glittering Haley. So, this video, as you could probably tell by the title above, is a What's in My Makeup Bag video. So, pretty much the point of this video is to just show you who I am, what I like, and what types of makeup and things I'm into to kind of, like, start off my channel with, and I think it's a fun way to do it. And this is all stuff that I pretty much would bring to me if I'm traveling, like, going on vacation for like a week or something or even just for a couple of days I do like to bring a lot of makeup with me because you never know what you'll need so let's just get started with this and by the way this bag is from Clinique it's one of the Clinique bonus bags I have a lot of these because my mom gets them like every two months when you can get one when you buy like a purchase of like twenty something dollars I think and it comes with a lot of cute stuff and they're really nice. So the first thing I am pulling out is this Stila Stylish and Sewell palette. And this is just a really nice palette. And this is one of the, um, like, I'm going to cover this so I don't blind you. This is one of, like, the Collectible City palettes. And I'm just flipping it upside down for you. But this is just a really gorgeous palette and has some nice colors. And it's just really nice for on the go. Then the next thing is this is another palette. This is the Clinique um, palette and you can't buy this. It's only a limited edition with this bag but it has some really great eyeshadows. Let's cover and I'm just going to take that out. And they're really pretty colors. I'm in love with them personally. And they're kind of sheer because like they're not very pigmented but it's good because I'm more I'm not going to wear bright colors so it's good for a nice neutral look. And I'm just going to name the colors for you. Let's try to cover this. The, um, the one here is a single shade from the Blushing Nude um, Trio. This is a pink single shade from the Pink Chocolate Cod. Stone Violet, Stay Matte, and then a Chocolate Chip Stay Matte, which it does look like chocolate chip. So they're just all like a bunch of eyeshadows from all different Clinique palettes. So you can't get this on its own. But you can get some of, if you like, one of the colors from the palettes that they're from. So the next thing is this Maybelline Fit Me blush. And this isn't my favorite blush. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's not that pigmented. It does give you, like, a nice glow and highlight. But as an actual blush, it doesn't do too much of a color. It's in the shade medium pink, but I don't love it, but it works. Then the next thing that I'm pulling out is a Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Raspberry Pie. And I actually have this on right now. I think it's a really pretty color. It's a nice, like, deep, pinky, reddish raspberry color. Like the name. Really nice color for winter because I've been into a lot of, like, reds and deep colors for winter. So I really like that. And this is another lip product I just pulled out. And I'm going to take it along with... This Clinique Chubby Stick, which I also got from this bag. This is kind of a very similar copy to the Chubby Stick. As you can see, they look very similar. This is the Chub Clinique Chubby Stick in um, Super Strawberry. I think it's gorgeous. And I just really like it, but they're pretty expensive. This is the sample size, not the full size. So I really wanted to get a full size one, but they're like around $20. So I found this, which is the CoverGirl um, Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm, which is very similar. And this is what the color looks like. Isn't it really pretty, guys? I re this is a good copy of this. This one is a bit more, like, better, I don't know, but this is still really good for being moisturizing. It's the same way this one, and gives... This is all falling down. It's rolling. You don't see it rolling, but it's rolling. It's a really nice way of getting some good color on your lips without, like, wearing a lipstick or gloss if you don't want one. Then this is the Too Faced Glamour to Go Sugar Spun Edition Palette. And I love this palette. First of all, isn't the packaging so, so, so pretty? I really like it. So, I'm just going to cover that. And these are just so gorgeous of colors. They're really nice for, like, dinner and going out, like, at night. So I use these when I wanted to cruise every night, pretty much just this palette. Because it has some really nice silvers and golds, and you could get some really nice looks with them. So I love this. Then the next on the bottom oops, 
is just a bronzer, a highlighter, and a lip gloss, but I don't really use this because I don't really like lip glosses that are in pan form, like in palettes. I don't know. I just don't like them. I, they feel weird. I mean, the next thing is this CoverGirl Pressed Powder, and this is the CoverGirl Clean Powder. They, I really like the CoverGirl's Pressed Powder because they have one for every skin type. I have very, and this is just for normal skin because I do have normal skin. I only get like occasional like blemishes, but they have ones for people with acne, with oily skin, with dry skin, which I think is really great because it can fit to your skin. And this doesn't fit me that well anymore because I got a bit tan when I was on a cruise that I went on over winter break. But it does a nice job of being a nice, it's just a good powder. But if I layer it over a foundation, it works pretty well. But it's pretty nice and it works well. The next thing is just this Dream Smooth Mousse by Maybelline. And this is just a foundation and yes, it is too dark for me. I bought it being very stupid and thought it was this shade because it's really this shade on the back. I didn't know that. Um, it fits me better now because I have a bit of a darker skin color ever because I got tan but it will fade eventually. But as long as I blend it out it works okay and I'm able to get use out of it but I wish I got a lighter color guys. So the next thing that I am pulling out is this is another Clinique product that I got from this bag and it's just the Clinique Lash Doubling Mascara and I love this mascara. See the brush? It's like a kind of a cone shape and it just works really well at doubling your lashes and separating them. So I'm just in love with this mascara and I wish I had the full size. It's only a mini size but one day I will get the full size because I'm in love with it. It just fell. I'm going down under. Now, the next thing is just, this is a e.l.f. brush, and this is an e.l.f. bronzing brush, but I don't use it for bronzer. I kind of use it more as a blush brush, but I just really like it. And it, this was only $1, which is pretty amazing because it's a nice brush, so I like that. The next thing is a Sephora lip gloss from my Sephora Gloss Lab set, and it's just this gorgeous, like, kind of wine color with a bit of like gold sparkles and I think it is gorgeous and I love this for like going out and nighttime stuff. It works very nicely. The next thing is another e.l.f. brush and this is an e.l.f. studio brush so this is three dollars instead of one but that's like nothing. And this is just an e.l.f. complexion brush which is kind of just an all over face brush. I use it for applying foundation, powder, even you could use it for blush but I don't really use it for blush, it's too big for blush for me. Bronze, but I use it for bronzer and it's just a gorgeous brush and it's so soft guys. I love it. Then the next thing is just a Perfect Point Plus CoverGirl eyeliner and this is a great eyeliner. It has um, a self sharpening so it's really good if you're not into sharpening your mascara. I don't really like pencil mascara mascaras, pencil eyeliners. I think I said sharpening your mascara before. I must have. Silly me. But it's a nice creamy um, eyeliner. I'm not the biggest fan of pencil eyeliners. I think they're a bit dry and I don't know. I just don't love them but I really like this eyeliner. It works very well. Don't fall. Don't fall. The next thing is another one of my really favorite mascaras. It is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and this is what the brush looks like. It's huge, not huge, but it's pretty big. And it's one that has rubber bristles, which I like a lot better than a one that doesn't have rubber bristles, like you know the other type of brushes, if you know what I mean. Hopefully you do. But it just works really well, it separates your lashes well, gives them nice volume. It's just a great mascara that I love. And it has a ton of product in it. Everything kind of come falling down. Then this is just the Smashbox Foundation Primer. I got this for my Smashbox Try It Kit that I got from Sephora for um, Hanukkah. But it's just a really nice foundation primer. Not too much to explain about that, but it works really well. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer. And this is just, I don't know, it minimizes your poreless and it's just a nice 
face primer and this is for my Tarte primer trio where I also have an eyeshadow primer which I like. I don't love it but it's a pretty good primer and then a brightening primer which it kind of just doesn't have a point to me but this one I love. Then the next thing is just an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and yeah it's just an eyeshadow brush. Then the next is just this Revlon Colorstay Concealer. This doesn't fit me as well anymore because my skin tone's changed a bit, but it will eventually go back to working with me. And it's in the shade Fair, but I don't have fair skin, but it works with my color for some reason. I'm going to be dropping everything, guys. Everything. Then the next is just an e.l.f. defining eye brush, which I really like for my crease and for, like, my brow bone. So this works pretty well. And all the e.l.f. brushes, the ones that are white, are only one dollar. So that's pretty good if you're looking for a cheap brush. Then the next thing is another Smashbox thing from my Try It kit. And it's just the Limitless Eyeliner in Black Onyx Onx? On I don't know. I don't really know how to say that. And it's just this eyeliner. And it's another creamy one. So I do really like this. And it's not the full size, but it's a lot. Like, how much eyeliner are you going to use? I don't wear eyeliner every day. I just kind of use it for like nighttime or parties or something like that. Then this is another Smashbox thing as well. And it is just a um, photo finish lid primer. And just good for keeping your eyeshadow nice and long lasting throughout the day. And that is it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with it, and I think this is just a good way of getting you guys to know me better, and definitely look for new videos coming soon. I will be definitely posting a lot, and if you have any um, suggestions for videos, make sure to comment below and tell me what you want to see, because I definitely will be taking your ideas into consideration, and yeah, if you ever want like anything more descriptive about these products, Comment below. I definitely think I described them pretty well, or as best as I could. But, so, yeah, I really hope you like this, and make sure you subscribe. Here or here? I don't know where it is. I think it's here. Make sure you subscribe to me. Um, yeah, comment, you know, and you could follow me on Twitter. Same as my YouTube username, Glittering Haley. And,. Yeah, so, and that will be in the links below. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know me a bit. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Or you could see my tweets. Go see my tweets. And, yeah, so, bye and thank you for watching.